Last class we are discussing about some of the first tenth term of arithmetic provision, some different uh, types of problem. How to find out a positive integer of your first of uh, nth positive integer number, how to find out in last class we are discussing. Is it right? So in this class we are discussing about same procedure you have to follow. Here some problem is different, but uh, what do you have to ask here in this question? Find the sum of the odd numbers between 0 and 15. What is odd number? Odd number means the number, the counting number cannot be divisible by 2. A even number means the number can be divisible by 2. Is called as even number. Odd number means the number cannot be divisible by 2. This number is called as odd number. Give some example for odd number is y. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 15, 15 is also odd number, 15 is also odd number, yes, it is an answer, 15 is also odd number, and next is 50, 50 is odd number, no, why, 50 is divisible by 2, is it right, to 55 is, to 55 is, so 50 is even number or odd number, even number, is it right, so only possibility from 1 to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, up to where? 49. 49 is uh, divisible by 2? No. Is it right? So what are you asking in this question? Find the sum of the hard number between where to where? 0 to 15. But uh, 0 is hard number or even number? Huh? Even number or hard number? 0 is even number or hard number? Someone door analyzes. You don't know 0 is a even number and number. 0 is a even, even number. number. How? So look at this the number line. Number line. What is number line? The number line is a straight line. The number placed at equal interval or equal width. Equal width or equal size. You look at that uh, scale. How the numbers are forms. Is it right? So the equal from 1, 0 to 1, the size is equal, equal size or equal width. So this is also one of the concept also scale is also number line. Is it right? So here 0 after uh, this uh, moving from in right side 1, 2, two, 3. Is it right? Is it right? Here minus, minus 1, one. Minus, two, minus 2, minus 3. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Is it right? So look at this example in number line. Observe each and every one. 4 is even number or odd number? 4 is even number or odd number? Even number. Why? It is indivisible by 2. So 3 is even number or odd number? Odd number. 2 is even number or odd number? Even number. Next is 1 is even number or odd number? Odd. Next 0 is even. 0 is even. So next is minus 1 is hard. 1 is hard. Is it right? Minus 1 is also hard number. 2 is minus 2 is even number. Minus 3 is hard number. Minus 4 is even number. Uh, minus 4 is even number. Minus 3 is hard number. Minus 2 is even number. Minus 1 is hard number. 0 is even number. Now you understand. So 0 is even number. That's why I am not taking 0. 0 is hard number. Is it right? So, what you ask me question? Find the sum of the hard number between 0 and 15. So, sum means, sum means what? Plus. Sum means what? Plus. Addition. Plus. Is it right? So, sum of the hard number, hard numbers, so look at this example. The number cannot be divisible by 2. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, up to 7. Next is even number. The number can be divisible by 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, up to so on. Is it right? So even number and hard number. You have to start. So here in this question, I have to ask hard number from 0 to 15. 0 is not a hard number. That's why I am taking first number is 1. So next number is 3. Next number is 5. Next number is 7. Up to so on where? 50. But 50 is even number? Yes, 50 is a even number. 50 is hard number? No, that's why I am taking 49. Is it right? Sum of the sum of the hard number, first hard number between 0 and 15. 
so seven up to forty nine. Is it right? So in this example, what is the first term in this arithmetic progression? One. one. Is it right? Common difference? Three minus. Three minus one. What will you get? Two. 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 Next, sum of the nth term. Sum of the nth term is given. Not given. We have to find out. Is it right? Sum of the nth term. We have to find out. Is it right? Is it right? Forty-nine. Uh, which term I don't know, but forty-nine number is a hard number. But how many terms we don't know? We have to calculate. Is it right? So already we know about sum of the, uh, sorry nth term of arithmetic progression. We have to find out formula. What? A n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. A n is is given. Is given. A n is given. Yes, so last term is given. How much is given? Forty-nine. So answer what is given? A n is given. Forty-nine. Last term is given. Is it right? Nth term is given. Nth term sum is given, but the yeah, number of term is not given. Is it right? I understand. Nth term is not given. Sum of the nth term is given. Means last term is given. Is it right? But how many terms are not given? Is it right? Next is a one plus n is two. Sorry, n is not given. N minus one. How many differences? Two. Simplify. What will you get? Forty-nine is equal to one plus n. Simplify. Two n plus n. Two n minus two plus minus two. Is it right? So forty-nine one minus two. Minus one. one, minus two is bigger or one is bigger? Two. So two is bigger or one is bigger? Two. What is the sign? Minus. So two n minus one. Is it right? Is it right? So one shift from in LHS side, but uh, the value become positive. Is it right? Value become not a change. Sign will be change. So forty nine plus one is equal to two n. Is it right? So forty nine plus one. Fifty is equal to two n. So two n is equal to fifty. Is it right? N is equal to fifty by two. Two two ones are two twenty five is a. How much? Fifty. So two ones are two twenty five is a. Fifty. Is it right? So number of term is how much? Number of term is how much? Twenty five. Next, what do you find out? Find the sum of the Hard number. Find the sum of the hard number. We know that. We know that means already we know. Already we know. We know that sum of first first hard number. First hard number. Find out formula is. Find out formula is. Formula. Yes, n is equal to n square. Yes, n is equal to n square. Previous class we have discussed. Is it right? Yes, n is equal to n square. Yes, n is equal to n means what? N means what? Twenty-five. Twenty-five whole square. Twenty-five whole square. So next is yes, n is equal to twenty-five whole square means twenty-five into twenty-five. So twenty-five whole square means six hundred and twenty-five. Square of uh, square of twenty uh, five is ah uh, twenty five square is six uh, hundred and twenty five. Is it right? Simplify twenty five into twenty five. Twenty five five is ah uh, hundred and twenty five. Carry is how much? Twelve. Twenty five two is ah fifty. Fifty plus twelve sixty two. Total is six hundred and twenty five. So the sum of the first odd uh, number is uh, how much? Six hundred and twenty-five. You understand? You understand or not? You understand. So sum of the from zero to fifteen hard number is one, three, five, up to one, thirty-nine. So hard number means the number cannot be divisible by two. Is it right? So in this arithmetic progression, a is one, b is two. So number of term is given, not given. We have to find out what is given. Last term is given. Sum of the nth term is given. Nth term is given. Nth term is how much? Forty-nine. 
am is what? Nth term of arithmetic progression, 49 is given. So, nth term of arithmetic progression, find out formula is what? A n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Substitute value a and d and uh, last term you have to substitute. What you will get? Yes, n is equal to 25. Is it right? So, next we know that sum of the first odd number of uh, find out formula is S n is equal to n square. Substitute value of n. What do we get? S n is equal to 625. I understand my Take home sign up. And 16th one. And 17th one. And 18th. And lastly, doing home this uh, problem. If any doubt arises, you can ask any question. Thank you, my dear students.